Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. I've got uh, Simon ready to take off and go get some ore. And Edmund's taken off to go and mine some more of the carbon nanotubes. So they've got their orders, they're the first ones up. Simon slept most of yesterday afternoon and Edmund hardly needs to sleep. But the other guys, yeah, they're, they're tuckered out. So we've got our new rec room. A little messy. Got our new, well, what will be the storage room once Edmund is living somewhere else, once the next person goes. Carter's first job is to break into our cargo container of fuel. And I've set Rita to get some cooking done first thing. And Umiar, what is your plan? Um, you're just going to eat. <laughs> Don't really have a plan for you. It'll, it'll happen what will happen something like that anyway let this run uh simon yep there he's on his way edmund's on his way so it is still four in the morning what changes have been the last many episodes since we've taken a look around our land here not a lot different i don't remember this guy and got some more ore. That's right, we have some more ore that dropped in nearby over here. Just in case we get around to mining something nearby if we need to. I have that one already marked. I have some traps to get uh, reset so we can have Umiara do that. Um, otherwise, no, not much going on. We're five in the morning. Folks are just starting to wake up. Rita's up. The cook's always up early. And it's 6 o'clock now. Mm -hmm. I always know when that happens. Alright, Simon, how you doing? Running through the, the aspen trees. Or these birch trees. Birch has a bark like that. I don't remember what aspen bark looks like, but I remember what the leaves look like. So that's his path. Through the big rocks, and through these rocks, and our old encampment. Mining outpo. Edmund, just making it into here, uh, except for the occasional pancoth. No uh, unexpected guests or visitors here. Alright, so you clean these up. Your stats are in good shape. When Simon gets back, we'll put a meal into him and then send him off to get some more of that. Carter, I asked to start working on these guys. We'll see if he can handle it. He might do the four that I... Oh, that's not Carter. The four that I told him to do and then uh, run him to go get some more materials or something like last time. Okay, Carter, you also can't seem to figure out a simple hasp Okay. Uh, I don't know. I want you uh, go ahead. Nope, I already have you programmed to do things. Who we are? You. You could. Well, there's a chance we, it may still be here when. You're done? Yeah. When the next uh, uh, escape pod arrives, so I better get that moved. But there's nowhere to store it except for indoors right now. Actually, I could set this also for fuel. Could do that. As well, I guess, this one. Okay, kind of a an overflow of different things. Okay, Carter's going to tap these four in. And then I want to see if he discontinues or if there are other things he's determined to go work on first. Reconstructing. Last time he did that, he tried to walk all... Oh, where did you find that? Interesting. Reader reached cooking six. Perfect. Okay, so now you're going to run up and get more. So these have not been preloaded. I see. Okay. Well, I really don't want you to go up there and do all that. So what is there to get you to do around here that does not involve... 
spending your day running. Let's see here. Well, I just spent five minutes searching this whole settlement for something for Carter to do, and from what he qualifies to do, there's not much for him to do. So I told him to fertilize the glitter caps here, but yeah, we're, we're pretty much set now as far as construction goes, and well, I guess I could I could have had him mine this. Yeah, that's that's reasonable. So I'll throw this into your list just in case temperature changes and that you're no longer able to work on the field or something. Edmund is mining so he's already got his four done. Since he's here he's only got food issues. Yep. Edmund when you're done why don't you go ahead and do these four as well. And that'll be the last of those that we need to finish the series. Alright so Rita's still cooking. Omiar is handling random furnaces for bricks that we no longer need. Okay, so let's get those turned off. Oops. I thought it would finish the job before it uh, did that. Oh well, I guess we're going to work on ore. Yep, instead. And that's it for those. Though I could have you do more of the fuels. Um, do I see somebody? No. But that was a Simon. Simon, you are you're coming back with 130. Okay, that is your max. Good. So when you're done with that, we're at noon. You could possibly make one more run. You really could. So when you get done, come on down. Let's see, Simon, you're a meat pie kind of guy. Um, now I had Rita make meat pies. So, huh? Now, where else would you have put them? Not there. Not there. Do we have meat pies? We do not. Interesting. I specifically clicked on Rita and said cook meat pie while she was still in bed. Uh, in queue. And so she's done everything but. I wonder what, what they use to choose what they want to do next. That was her second order at five in the morning, and it's still in queue. Hmm, or is that saying it just got done making a meat pie? Simon, eat buttermelon pie on that one. Eat sweet meats bites. Hmm, okay, well, Simon, when you get back, hopefully it'll be a meat pie that by, by then. And you can grab that, then go take off again. So Edmund is still doing this. Carter is spreading poo. Yep. So, Umiar, you are building up these furnaces, which means what? You are grabbing... We have 20 ore left. There we go. Simon is still a long way away. Actually, not as far as I would have thought. He's doing a pretty good job. He's right up in there. Almost see him. There he is, right in the right in the in the trees. Okay, we'll see how well that times out. So, Umiar, when you're done with, you got three more. So with this one, you'll be out. I'm curious to see where you're going to go. You're running up there to get more. Or is there more still sitting somewhere out in here? Might give us a clue where to go gather some last remaining scraps. Uh, Carter's still doing his thing. Rita's doing her thing. Yep, nobody's changed. All right, Omiar, what you gonna do? That's what I wondered. So. The next ore that's available is all the way over here, and we're talking 20. Let's forbid that and see what you do. Now you're heading up there. Okay. So, Umiara, you are going to work on these two barrels. And that should give Simon enough time to to get back down here. Well, let's do two more. 
Ah, let's do it all. Yeah, that'll finish off your day. We're at 1600 and Simon hasn't come back yet. So I don't see him making that run. I just don't see it. Yeah, his sleep's off too. He got up really early because he didn't have much sleep to do to, to be done. Okay, so Carter is, although Carter could have made the ore that Umiara needed if I had him do that job instead. There is that. But he's doing such a great job over here. Yeah, I hate to, hate to discourage him. Yeah, we'll just we'll let him finish. Okay, you're grabbing bug meat. You're making meat pie. Good. And Rita was able to make the sweet meats, so she must be qualified to to handle pretty much everything that's uh, that's available to cook now at cooking level six. Good. Now Rita is probably our most diversified as far as skills go. So she'll be one of the last two to go. Whether she's the last or not, I don't know. She could probably handle this place on her own, except she doesn't have the repair ability. Yeah, her construction is zero. So she wouldn't be able to fix the turrets at the last minute, like Carter could. So I think she is going to be the support system up until the last person making sure there's enough meals left behind for whoever remains for last. So I think Rita's the second from last. I think that's a certainty now. And repair, I think, is the most important, so it's Edmund or Carter as the very last. So who goes next is the next question. I think it's Umayar. I really do. Hmm... Simon can still get a number of the the electrical components built quickly. And he can do pretty much anything that Umiar can do because it's just at this point, except for cooking, which hopefully Rito yeah, well he won't need to. Um, all Umiar is really doing is uh, is handling and, and that, that sort of thing, transporting. So Simon could do that in his place. So I think he's going home next. Uh, Simon, stop. Simon. Okay, so you've made that delivery. We're now searching for meat pie. No. Do we have it? We have it somewhere. There? No. No. Not in there, not there. Not there. <laughs> That's not it. Boy, it looks like it wants to be in there, but it isn't. In there? And unfortunately, when you click on these shelves, you get just the individual column. You don't get the whole shelf unit. So you've got to know exactly where it is to make that work. I no, they must be in the oven. Must be in the oven. Eat meat pie, right there. Okay. So that messed up Rita apparently. So she is now putting back the meats to get some grain. Okay. And Rita, when you're done with that you can cook more meat pie because that we definitely want to have in stock meat pies breads and buttermelon pies those are the the current favorites I think um, Rita also likes meat pies all right so Omiar you are free to do whatever you need to do now the ore has arrived where is it by the way land in here? I think that's right there. Aggressive animals are out here. Okay, Carter's mining. So that hit at 2100. So 3 a.m. is when this battle hits. So is there any reason to put more lighting in? We're going to hit the gauntlet. It's going to be dark. But there's nowhere to put it that 
will be protected. I can't put it in here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it doesn't like the spacing, except for way over here, and that's kind of redundant. It needs to be over here. This is where they're going to be taking their first shots. So it could be here. So there, or there. And can I go next to it? I can. Too bad I can't turn the other direction. So that lights up. I think that works pretty good. Let's do that. And Carter, Edmund, where are you? You're transporting. Okay, i got to get you home. And you're most of the way there, so you're going to be okay. Why only 92? Oh, because we have construction projects. So he's only brought enough to do this instead of the 160 that he can carry. That's a shame. Okay, so... Carter, you're it. Can you get this built and still get a meal? No, you can't. Come straight in and grab some bread. Then work on this if there's time. Uh, construct that. And I need to remember. Okay, gate's back over here. Okay. I need to remember to get that switched over to circuit three. I wonder if we're going to get to use these guys yet. Let's see how far this next run makes it in. Hmm. Alright, so we've got an attack coming in in five and a half hours. Who is exhausted? Uh, rest is not too bad on Carter. Rita as well, though... Hmm. She... Is cooking the meat pies. Okay. Get these in the oven, and I think I'll send you to bed. Simon, rest is an issue. Where is Simon right now? He is... Tailoring. Alright, as soon as you get that finished... You're going to bed. Simon, you're here. And Edmund, you're on your way in. Umiar is 59% handling a distillery. Let's do that with you as well. Head to bed right now. Get everybody up at 2 or 3 in the morning instead of having them exhausted. I think it might be wiser. Okay, Carter made it in. He did. So he's finished. He's going to go work on a light. Good. And Rita, I think you only go about halfway or so, and then they stop mixing. Yeah, now the, the oven does the rest. All right, Rita, head to bed. Yeah, 60% food is just not enough. You go to bed, and maybe I can get you up at 2 and get you something to eat. I think of it. Go in bed, bed, bed. Edmund is dropping off all these materials. Then he needs food desperately. Edmund is a is a buttermelon pie guy. Yep. And Carter, so you're in decent shape. How many materials does this take? Is it two trips? It's just one trip. If there's time when you're done, grab a couple hours sleep. And Edmund is done. Good. So you grab food, Edmund. And then... Eh, we could try to get you some sleep. I don't think it'll be time, but I'll put it in your list. And these guys aren't even sure what time it is. It's so bright out at night. Yeah. Odd lighting. Should be darker than this. All right. So what's been happening over here? I know you guys chased off all of the uh, the flatheads or whatever the those guys are called. Don't know if you killed them and ate them or what. So we've got... I just actually just heard Carter finishing that. So before you go any further, I need you on circuit three. Good. So when you copy it from another one, it copies that as well. You're going to sleep, and you're running to it. Good, good. It will get an hour or two in for you. All right, so at 2 o'clock, I want to see who needs a meal. Otherwise, what was I doing? I was going to check out this. So we've actually got uh, nine gulches, or glutches, 
four Junos. Oh, those are some big ones. And we got humming flies this time. So the humming flies are going to come in first. And these guys can still shoot up into the air and hit the humming flies. They just can't shoot the ground behind them. So we haven't handicapped ourselves there. Yeah, I, I like that new design. I think that works well. I think so. And I'm glad that we've got so much of the new fencing in. Especially where it counts. Right in there. Okay, so let this thing run. And sleeps, eating, sleeping. See how this plays out. Okay, about two in the morning. Rita, you need to get something to eat. You were meat pie? Your meat pie. That's in the oven, right? All right. There. Eat meat pie. Carter just got to bed. He's fine food-wise. He just needs some more rest. All right, so Simon, you just keep resting. Edmund, same thing. Omiar, you're about done. So you'll be the first one on the front lines. Um... Let's tell you to relax just in case you can get a little bit of that in in time. Actually, I think go ahead and do it now. Yeah. So you do that and get your your happiness up just a little bit higher. And these guys are about to about to go full aggro on us. You think at two in the morning some would be asleep? Although this one is. Yeah, this one's got to figure it figured out. You sleeping? I can't tell. What does a glutch look like when it's asleep? Yep. Well, something zing right there. Okay, the attack has begun. Let's get Umiar out here. And... I think closest to the guns over here. You're right there. Edmund, yeah, I guess I better get all of you. Okay, so Edmund, draft, head in here. Um, so Umiar has the stun gun, right? He does, good. Simon, come on in. Rita, I think I will group you guys all up, if it's possible. Although, I'm going to keep you toward the back here. Maybe they'll stay in this area and, and they won't... The roof will cover them or something. So get them back a little bit. Um, send you to the fifth space. Okay. So you guys do that. Everybody's moving? Everybody seems to be. Okay. So. What happens here? I hear the thunder. The storm coming in. Alright, you guys have activated. And. Oh, they're not tracking behind them. Interesting. They're not. Okay, a little lower. There. They're pretty good shots. I do see the occasional one continuing off into the distance, but for the most part, I think they're doing okay. Huh, what was that? Rita's been injured already. So... Put the roofs on and turn all the rest of this off. And let's see if the roof actually deflects anything or not. See, I see them coming in like this, not going through the roof. Can we get down low enough to see if any of the acid is. See, they're out here shooting through. Oh, I guess right there. It is going through. Okay. Well, that's a shame. I never see rain inside the house. So, the roof does deflect rain. Why it doesn't deflect these, I don't know. Anyway. How are we doing otherwise? I'm not seeing too many red bars. Okay, the Glutches are taking their time. The Junos are taking their time. These guys have all shut down. All right. So, health-wise. 
uh, turn you off. Rita is only is the only one. Uh, we have right leg. Otherwise, no markings on them. Good. Next, you know, I never thought about these guys, although they were already aimed. Yeah, I had aimed them over here. So, you... Yeah. I get no circle? I guess I get the circle if I do this. Okay. So, we've got them coming in over here. Let's, let's hit them as soon as possible over there. And this one... Um, I'm just wondering if we should have more of these. You are a CPU and 50 alloy. I think we should grab a couple more of these guys. Uh, let's set... Nope, that's not it. Let's set you for... The, these guys are coming in over here. So for right there. Okay. Where's the best shot? From this viewpoint of these guys. Boom. Boom. <laughs> okay, Junos are running now. Okay, so these guys are now active, aiming. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see what Umiar is doing as far as pulse rifling. There you go. Grab that guy. Got him. Trapped him. Stunned him. He's down. Okay. Let's send you another missile just launched. Um, you're still good for a little bit, but you that's your last one. So, new target area of out over here. I think that works. And from you guys' point of view, what do we got going on? They still aren't making it into the gauntlet. Yep. Defenses are working. I really thought the attacks were going to get more intense than this. Now, what just happened here? Oh, another missile just came through. Okay. Boom. And boom. And there's still a Juno somewhere. Ah, you're just taking your time. That should be a rocket launch, right? There. I'm waiting for it. And we're done. And to finish it off with a missile. <laughs> okay, so undraft all of you guys. It is six in the morning. You go ahead and do what you need to do. You are... What? Bug meat. Your bug meat. And your bug meat. Okay. Bug meat in in the house right now. We're only down we're down to two hundred. So I guess we're gonna have to do this. At least all of these guys. Because they've they've got a good quantity at forty on them. And the Junos have fifty. Ooh. We got four of them? We got four of them. Alright, so in that case. Carter and Edmund. Let's set both of you back to hunting. That's not what I wanted. So I don't have to tell you to keep doing it. I want this one. So Carter, your hunt just went back to one. And Edmund, your hunt just... Mm, yeah, let's do it. Back to one. I would like these fences taken care of. And all the materials have been loaded into them. But... Let's pet him. <laughs> Our big burly carpenters just felt the need to go pet a cow. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's how we roll around here. Anyway, yeah, you guys go and butcher that before the uh, the buzzards get most of the good meats. Um, Rita is awaiting treatment. That's kind of an Edmund thing. Um, Umiar, you can do it just fine, though. Okay. This isn't that serious. It's not surgery. Okay, so what else here? Um, Simon is bench pressing. Omiar is healing. Alright, so with that done... There weren't any new... There was a Tachyon mission. There was. 
And that doesn't require hauling anything heavy back. Maybe that's an Umiar thing. That could be. I think he would be back in time for a, a rescue pod should that happen at the same time. Tachyon was seven hours away, so 14 hours round trip. Um, you are right now handling a furnace. So your stats, you could use some food. Umiar liked breads. Why don't you do that? And your relax is fine, rest is fine. Yeah, you do that. As soon as you start eating, I'll send you on your way. I don't think I've sent you on a mission before. So that'll be one last experience before you're out of here. Otherwise, Edmund's getting something to eat. Carter's getting some more relaxation. He was really behind. Then he'll get to work. Okay, so Umiar's eating now. Tachyon was right there. Send you go. And you'll grab a couple of meals. Where are you? Right there? Yeah. You are away on expedition. And grab a couple of somethings in there. And you're out of here. Alright, so Carter's going to butcher a Juno. Edmund's going to reconstruct. Okay. I guess that didn't quite work. Where are you going? Um, no. No, no, that, that's not happening. Okay, so I'm going to have to... Apparently, let's draft undraft. And then put these guys in your... Yeah, what is going on? Edmund, you want to go up there and grab more of the materials. Like it's an unfinished job. Hunt is one. Construct is two. Got it. All right, draft, undraft. There you go. Okay, so that takes care of that one. He had started apparently one time, got these guys in. Huh. Well, we are is out of here. Simon is building a few more of the electronics. So 50 and a CPU core builds another one of these guys. Does it matter where to put it? These guys have a pretty considerable range. It's all the way out here, all the way here. It's everything except for in front. And I wouldn't want to hit anything in front anyway. That's just going to aggro them right through our fence. So really, they're already in a pretty good place. We chose well the first time. So, where to put something like that? Um, probably no reason why not to have them all next to each other. You are wooden floor. Let's copy you. And do that. Okay. Then you copy. Drop one there and one there. So that will get done at some point. Now you guys power wise are 30. So you're a big chunk of power during a battle. And you're worthless during a... What is that solar event? Flare. Solar flare. Yeah. So battery-wise, we are at about 80%. 90. Ah, we're going up by 240 at a time. Got a storm coming through, that's why. Hmm. Rita is planting. Good. So, yeah, she'll be here for a whole growing season yet. Food, we're at 38. Which becomes more and more... Um, valuable the less of us there are meaning 38 for seven people didn't count as much as 38 for you know three people at the end so wow, these guys are making their noises so Edmund where did you ever end up you dude you didn't dude oh you gotta babysit these guys yeah, I get razzed for the amount of uh, 
of uh, micromanaging I do, but you see what happens when I don't? He went all the way out there to go get some half-rotted hides instead of finishing these off. Dude. <sighs> okay, well, tell you what, Carter, are you functioning still? You're functioning enough to get through these last... Well, there's five of them. Oh, I guess I didn't queue them up. Okay, so Carter, come back and do this. Butcher these four and this one. And Edmund, you're just a lost cause. Simon, you run out here and pick up that meat. Uh, Hall, although you're not going to get it all. Because you don't have the physical strength. So you'll make two trips. No, Carter will make one trip when he's done with this. He'll finish it off. Okay. Edmund, Edmund, Edmund. I tell you. All right. No, Simon, let's... Let's do that now. Let's do it now. Otherwise, we're going to lose part of that to the next bone crusher that, that uh, drops in for a visit. Like, you know, this guy. Okay. So, Carter, you're going to do all that, then you're going to be hungry. Yes, you are. There's one landing somewhere. I can see a shadow. All right, so Carter Rita is appreciating a shroom torch. Though she's not truly needing that. Why don't you come in here and grab a meat pie? Why don't you haul a meat pie? Well, okay, then just eat a meat pie. You can do that. Simon's busy. Needs to sleep. Edmund, shame on you. Uh, what, what, what? What? <laughs> Edmund, you're fired. <laughs> Edmund, Edmund, go back to constructing. You're, you're a worthless hunter. You, do, you don't get the priorities. Yeah, go c construct a floor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Simon, you are doing that, and yeah, Carter can get the last of that. So maybe next episode, tomorrow, you can go get the rest of the uh, of the carbon nanotubes up there. So carbon, uh, carbon, Carter is collecting the last of these. Though, yeah, I think we'll give up on this guy. I think so. Simon is assembling. Rita is planting. I'm gonna let her plant all she can. And I would punish Edmund and make him go do that last one, but it would be nice to get these done. So I'm going to not to be a fool there. Now, Carter, can you get this one without being told to? You can. Yeah, Carter Carter's got it. He he's he's got some wisdom. Edmund's still kinda of running circles. All right, so that guy dropped in to get that meat, and well, he's gonna clean these up. Yeah. Now we do have an opening here, but I'm trying to come up with an easier way to walk through for these guys. Tachyon source. What do we have? Found the remains of an ancient terraforming machine. It seems that it has some control over the weather. There are several options that can be triggered. Trigger meteor rain, a heat wave, a cold snap, toxic ash fall. Other than the meteor rain, why would you choose any of those? Well, okay. Heat wave in the dead of winter would start your plants growing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Which we don't need. I think I'd love to dismantle the machine and see what you bring home. So, that is here. You're bringing home two CPUs, 25 alloy, and 10 circuit boards. Whoa. Okay, so... This is now going from an until to a times. That is the last time we're going to be building a circuit board this this series. Don't need CPUs, don't need power cells, so this guy gets shut down probably permanently after this. Okay, good.
good find. Carter's bringing in that. Edmund is constructing a turret. Good. <clears throat> Carter's probably going to need some serious self-care now. Uh, Carter, why don't you go straight into the breads. Pause. None. None sitting on shelves. That's probably what Umiar grab or two loaves of bread. <laughs> yep, I think so. Oh well. Carter's going to get himself some meat stew or something like that. I don't know what that is. Any more of those in there? Yeah, there's three of them. What are you? Veggie stews. Okay. All right, then. Rita is still doing her planting. Still storming out. Power must be at 100%. It is. We could handle a third battery. We actually could. We have the ability to fill it. Ha. Ah, where would you put it? Right here. They take what? Three circuit, five circuit boards. We can afford it. Okay. Do it. Do it. All right. Insufficient by three, but Umiar's got that covered. Edmund is constructing a turret, so he's bringing the alloy, most likely, from where he's coming from. Yep. Haven't heard these guys run in a while. That's nice. And this did get built, but I didn't actually notice how well it lit up. I'll have to go back and watch that again. Okay, constructing a turret. Carter is doing dumb. He is. Okay, Carter, come on up and play an instrument and then go to bed. And Simon, when you get up in the morning, you're going to have to go get that alloy because it is just freaking them out. Why is it that they can't build what is here? They've got to go get, I don't know, the, the one to do the one gate that didn't get done. Because they have to do gates first before they can do fences. Is that it? I think that's it. They have to do gates first. Ugh. Instead of what's available first. Okay. I'm going with that. That seems most likely the culprit. 2100. We are finally... No, we're barely losing. Because the wind is still driving these, these guys. Hmm. Yep, we can handle power now. And five battery banks, that would handle almost any battle. No matter the circumstance. Insufficient by two. Oh, he just built one. Okay. And you're transporting that to a shelf. And you're going to grab some to eat. Smart man. Uh, Carter, Rita, Edmund. Yeah, don't you dare go run up the mountain right now. So once you finish that one you know I'm going to cancel you and get you to bed come on over here and eat a meat pie if it exists your happiness is getting pretty low you are meat soup you are not and you are not okay so you eat a meat pie Rita has been planting instead of cooking that's what's happened but that's still not going to last very long 40 outside, but with a storm, too. Interesting. But we're getting close to spring, so I guess the temperatures are warming. Yeah. So they may not have as many of their favorite meals for a while. Let's just make sure those are always on top. So, favorite meals. Um, bread goes up. And meat pies go up. Like that. And the buttermelon pies go up. And then coffee is after that. And then whatever else happens to get done. Yeah, and they're not mirroring each other, which is a mistake I made at the very beginning. And it's just too much of a trouble to, to fix it now. Alright, that's kind of the same order minus the coffee. Okay, but these are the favorites of these these particular survivors <clears throat> okay sleeping the two troublemakers are sleeping 
Umayar has not made it back yet. He should be here any moment. Does it say? Uh, time remaining one hour. Yeah. And... Nope, that's thunder. Here comes Umayar. Oh, there he went. <laughs> Pop out of there. There he is. <laughs> Alrighty, I think we're going to call this one done. Successful mission. Umayar, you can bring in... You grab buttermelon pies. I see. Why don't you bring in all oh, these guys? No. Nope. Leave. Actually, yeah. All electronics. Though you may just go and load those up. Let's see what happens there. No, you're going to bring them all in. Okay, that's fine. So let's call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.